Neighbors tell me they heard at least a dozen gunshots, then found Roberto lying here in this driveway. Tonight we talked to the people who tell me they tried to save his life. I tried CPR on him and tried to give him every chance at li life that I could possibly give him. It wasn't enough. David Azell was not prepared to say goodbye to his close friend, Roberto Cisneros, but he lost the 31-year-old this morning. He was already out of the car. He took off running, trying to run away. Uh, how? I have no idea. Cisneros was murdered in the 1600 block of Harlan Street around 2 this morning. Azell says he ran up to help him as others dialed 911 when the shooter took off and left Cisneros in this driveway. When I got to him, he was face down on the ground. And Neighbors say the shooter was armed with a large rifle when he fired off nearly a dozen gunshots. Police are working to find the shooter who took the young father, son, and friend to so many. Either they get him or the streets are going to get him and God don't like ugly. As homicide detectives continue to investigate the Cisneros case, they're also working to find the gunman responsible for two separate shootings overnight, which left two people injured. And with the death of Cisneros, Indianapolis police now at 86 murders so far this year. They took away a good friend. Neighbors tell me they hope police find the shooter soon before there's more violence here on their street. If you have any information on this shooting, pick up the phone and call IMPD or Crime Stoppers at 262 tips. You can remain anonymous. Reporting on the South Side, I'm Alexis McAdams. Back to you.